Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Low Carb Revelation. I am Paula and I live a keto lifestyle. And today I'm going to be starting my series on keto meals on a budget. I hesitated to make this video today because I have a little bit of a cold and it's all in my nose and I'm sounding really nasally. So just bear with me. I'm feeling okay. It's just all in my sinuses. I have some chamomile tea that I am sipping on to help. Today is February 2nd and I wanted to do some videos this month on eating keto on a budget. Times are really tough right now. Groceries are expensive. I hesitated about doing this series because I wasn't sure it would be very successful because of the prices of food. But I am gonna go ahead and take on this challenge anyways. Originally, I was gonna do keto meals under $10, but then I thought about it and I thought that might be really hard to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my best to keep these meals under a $20 budget. I'm gonna try to get them as low as I can, I'll let you know the total price that I'm paying for the meals. I shop at Aldi 90% of the time. There are a few items that I go to other grocery grocery stores for because Aldi just doesn't carry them. Realize that a lot of you don't have an Aldi. When I shop at Aldi, I am going to be picking ingredients that you can pretty much get at any grocery store. I'm going to be doing a lot of fresh meat and vegetables and that kind of thing. So you should be able to find these items even if you don't have an Aldi. Also, the prices are obviously going to vary from state to state and even in other countries. I have a lot of people watching me that are in other countries. The prices are gonna differ all over the world and here in the United States. So I'm gonna be giving you the price that I paid for the items. I'm gonna be bringing the items home and then I'm gonna be cooking them for dinner and showing you the recipe. I don't know how many videos I'm gonna get in for this series for the month of February. I'm going to at least try to do this twice a week. And then I have some other video material that I'm gonna be doing throughout the week also. So I'm gonna sit here and drink my tea and then I am gonna run off to Aldi and pick up my ingredients. And then I will come back and show you what I found and make the recipe for you. I'll see you then. So I am back from Aldi and I have my ingredients in front of me. I spent $14.72 on today's dinner. This dinner serves three people. So if you're just one person and you're making this meal, then you could actually meal prep the other two chicken breasts and have them for another day. If you have three people in your family and let's say that you're the only one doing keto, this meal would be perfect for anyone. So even if a person is not doing keto, I think that this would be a very likable dinner. First, I'm gonna show you my ingredients and then I'm gonna show you how to prepare this easy recipe. I bought this package of chicken breast. This chicken breast was $3.99 per pound and this is $8.82 for this package. So this was the most expensive thing that I bought today for this meal. You could also do this with chicken thighs and it would be even cheaper. The chicken thighs were like $1.79 a pound at Aldi. Then I bought an eight ounce block of Colby Jack cheese. The shredded cheese, I believe, was $2.29, and the block of cheese was $1.99. These are actually, if you can get the blocks of cheese and shred it yourself, they are actually lower in carbs. This is zero carbs, and a bag of Colby Jack cheese was one carb per serving because they have some non-stick agents inside of the cheese that keeps it all from clumping together and that adds carbs. So it's actually a better option to shred your own cheese if you really are gonna be strict about your carbs. The next item is an eight ounce package of cream cheese. This is the Aldi brand cream cheese and it was $1.99. So far the chicken, the Colby Jack cheese and the cream cheese are all items that you could find at just about any grocery store. Next item is ranch salad dressing mix. This packet was 50 cents. You can also get the ranch seasoning in a big container like this and this will last a lot longer. It's more cost effective this way, but if you don't use a lot of this ranch seasoning mix, then you can just get the little packet and that was 50 cents. I also got a package of green onions. I only use a couple of these green onions just to garnish the top of the chicken after it's done. You don't even really need these if you can't get them. They're just a garnish and they do give it a little bit of an oniony flavor. It was 79 cents. So I topped this with crumbled bacon 
and I didn't buy any bacon today because I already have a bunch of bacon in my refrigerator. So if you're gonna be buying a package of bacon along with this, that's gonna raise your price. You only need three or four slices of bacon to top the chicken with. So that is the only thing I did not buy to add to this dish. I also bought a bag of frozen broccoli florets. This bag was 97 cents at all. A lot of times if I make this recipe, I also will use, instead of broccoli, I will use the frozen cauliflower. I'm gonna go ahead and get set up and show you how I make this really easy, affordable dinner. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is a super easy recipe. I've already have my chicken breast laying here in the skillet. I coated the inside of my skillet with some bacon grease. So this is my four ounces of cream cheese. And to this, I'm gonna be adding two teaspoons of this ranch seasoning. You can use more if you want it to be a stronger flavor, but I like to just put in two teaspoons. It's a good amount. And there is some left in here for a future use, so I will make sure that I store this away. And I'm just gonna mix these two together. Now this cream cheese has been softened to room temperature, so it's easy to work with. A cup of the Colby Jack cheese here that I shredded. I'm gonna put half of this into this mixture. Mix it all in. So I'm gonna take about a tablespoon of this, a heaping tablespoon, and I'm just gonna rub it onto the chicken breast. I'm gonna do this with each chicken breast. My oven is preheated to 375 degrees. Okay. I'm gonna take the rest of the cheese that I have in here and sprinkle it on top of the chicken. Okay, now I have my chopped bacon and I think this was three pieces. So maybe one piece of bacon per chicken breast. And you're just gonna sprinkle that on top. You couldn't go to a restaurant and spend $15 on a dinner that would give you this much food. Last thing I'm gonna do is I have my bag of broccoli florets. Put some broccoli in all of the empty spots in the skillet. Olive oil here that I am going to just drizzle lightly over the broccoli. I have some Redmond's Real Salt Smoke Salt. This is the cherry and I am going to sprinkle that on the broccoli. The chicken, in my opinion, has enough salt on it because of the ranch dressing and the bacon and all of that. So you can lightly hit the chicken if you want, but I'm mostly focusing on the broccoli. Okay. I'm gonna cover this with aluminum foil and I'm gonna place this in the oven for 20 minutes. And then after 20 minutes, I'm going to uncover it and let it cook for another 15 to 20 minutes. And then I will check for doneness and then I will show you what it looks like. Okay, so here is my cheesy ranch chicken. This looks absolutely delicious. You went to a restaurant to order this, you would pay about $15 just for this plate. And I have three servings like this. So I definitely think that this is a great keto on a budget meal. I'm gonna go ahead and try it. This is so good and I almost forgot to top this with my green onions. That is my keto budget friendly meal for today. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my future videos. Give me a thumbs up for this video because it really helps my channel out. I will see you really soon. Have a great day and God bless.